welcome back to watching my channel with you guys. If you didn't see my last video, go watch it now. I actually made a YouTube video, completed it, edited it, my editor spent time on it back in October and I totally forgot about it and it was buried on my hard drive and then I came across it today and realized I need to post this. But there's lots of stuff that's happened in it that has changed in the world, so I'm kind of giving you a running commentary on that. But enough about me. Let's jump back into this video. It's about passive income, trying to make you guys more money. Go watch part one. I hung out with my buddy Maddie, and in this part, we get to go visit another friend. Hi, at my next place, I'm gonna go meet another good friend. Hello. Oh, hi, Mark. This I is didn't amazing. Want you to see it. This is exactly how I pictured coming into your office. This is you. what it's like. And guys. It's Dave Makes Movies. Hi. Dave me. Makes Movies at Hotmail.com. Yes. I'm going to show you some footage that we shot together. You showed me how to be patient when actors were terrible and totally. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> disobeying. How to keep and, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's my thing. Cool. I'm so amazed by Jesse Channel, if you have seen it. And I actually get to see him behind the scenes doing his magic. Jesse, yes. passive income. Yeah. A lot of people freak out that they're not making enough, but yeah. how have you built your business or how have you incorporated passive income into it? Yeah, a passive income is a funny one for me because I, I, don't, I don't really do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, okay, so I have a few affiliate links, yes. right? I have yeah, Epidemic Sound or things Am like that. Amazon? Or, yeah, kinda. I mean, I have some Amazon affiliate links from like 2018. Yeah. I've, I've got a funny thing to show you in this drawer. I've only gotten a few Amazon affiliate checks, checks before. I've never cashed them. $101.08. There you go. I should cash these. But the point is, I, I don't know how to make my brain like care. I really didn't get into filmmaking as a career first. It's always been about like, I like spending my time doing this. How can I make it so that I spend more time doing this? There's an argument to be made. Good passive incomes or whatever can enable you to spend more time doing yeah. that. But I'm actually at a point where I'm doing the things I'm doing, I'm like making enough money to survive and pay my bills. I feel like I have such limited energy as it is that I would rather spend it doing things I like. I always say that when your passions and your schedule align, that's, that's fulfillment. Yeah. And I think that idea, I'm with you that at a certain point, you're like, am I a businessman or a filmmaker? And I do think you need to be a bit of a businessman, yep. but if it only ever becomes about the money, then you miss out on why you started all of this. Two, three years ago when I was doing this, I, I felt this immense, like, I need to get all of my eggs in the basket, yeah. or I need to like get this rolling, I need to start off on the right foot. And the truth is, a few years later, I'm still just at a point thinking like, I should do more of this, and I wanna find more ways that are like, healthy, sustainable, and don't feel like I'm gouging an audience or anything like that. But I'm also okay as it is. I think that's a beautiful thing because you are aligning your whole schedule with your passions. And so you're probably feeling like you're actually doing what you wanted to set out to do. I remember at a wedding three years ago, I asked Jesse and I saw him there. Mm -hmm. And I asked him like, hey, what are, you, what are you trying to accomplish this next year? What's the goal? And Jesse just said, he looked at me and you said simply, and I loved it because it was so simple. You're like, I want to make more internet videos. And here you are. I make internet three, videos. Yeah, three years later, you're making internet. I love that expression too. I was like, huh, you must make videos that appear on the internet. Yeah. Good for you. And that's, you've had clarity and you've gone after that. All right, all right. Well, Th thank you. And I didn't even get a view again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you an affiliate link. Thank you, yeah. bye bye now. Bye -bye. <laughs> Listen, launching a brand or starting a YouTube channel can be hard. You have to constantly be uploading videos and be promoting them, as well as a list of other things like doing the right type of thumbnails, coming up with good titles, having good hashtags, and even knowing when to upload the video, because if you upload it at the wrong time of day, you don't get as many views. And perhaps you already have a collection of vlogs or short film videos. There is actually other ways to monetize these videos besides putting them on YouTube. I actually recently came across Vlogbox, which is a unique platform to help you monetize your videos. See, Vlogbox doesn't focus on YouTube. It works with other reputable platforms to get your content out to a new audience. This includes Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, Android TV, as well as a host of others. They help you get your content onto those platforms and take care of all the details so that you can start monetizing 
your video content. You can create your own dedicated channel on these platforms, or if you just have a few videos, this is the great part, is you don't need to have a huge collection. You can put your videos on aggregators, such as Yeet TV or Yeet TV Kids. Can I get a Yeet? Yeet! You have the choice too of creating your content on an SVOD channel so that your subscribers can pay a monthly fee to access all of your content. This is like having your own Netflix, your own dedicated channel on these platforms. I could have my own Boneflix channel, which people would probably go for a variety of other reasons. What I really appreciate about Vlogbox is they allow you to focus on just creating good content. They take care of all the back end, all of the app development, promoting, approval procedures, so that you can just focus on making video content that you love. This is what all creatives should be craving, is freedom and creative control. I'm actually gonna be sending some of my content over to Vlogbox so that I can reach new audiences who don't just watch video on YouTube. So check out Vlogbox, I'll put a link below down in the description so you can learn more about them. Oh, no. The reason behind this call is that Canada Border Services Agency has seized a parcel under your name which was shipped through Canada Post using your identity. Oh no. The parcel contained illegal components. Wait, there illegal or illegal? Like, what? <laughs> Thank you, Jesse, for that interview. Go check out his channel. So that room that we're in, all that B-roll you're seeing, what's really kind of crazy and meta right now is they're actually moving out of that studio right now. He's posting Instagram videos right now about that. So go check out his channel. They're doing a crazy new studio and it's just such an adventure. Jesse's one of my favorite content creators out there. One of my favorite humans too. And we're gonna do some running soon enough, Jesse. You need to be watching this. I wanna run with you. It's been inspiring watching them get thrown lemons and making lemonade as they got kicked out of their studio. They're not actually making lemonade. They're, they're getting like a new studio. They're, they're moving there. Um, and yeah, they're, it's, why, I don't know why I brought them out of Le lemonade. There's, yeah, they're, they're making a new place. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, no, they're making a new studio. That's, man, the lemonade metaphor threw me off. They're making a new studio and it's pretty cool. But let's get back to passive income. So I, I hope you learned something today from both Mati and Jesse. Great guys, both have very different philosophies in how they approach the work, but both love their careers, which is something I hope you can learn from this video, that there isn't one right, perfect way to go about your career. The perfect and right way is if you are enjoying it. And if you are, and it's bringing you some income and supporting your family or your passions, then hey, you're doing great. But let's just quickly, let's do a power blast through, power blast, a power blast through all of these different areas of passive income. So I'm gonna give you a pro and con for each one. The first is real estate. This is owning property. The pro of this, well, you get to actually live inside your investment. This is super cool. It's a physical investment that you get to actually experience where if you invest in a stock, it's, it's just a number on a computer. The con of real estate is that, well, it costs a lot of money up front, and truthfully in the long run, with inflation and the amount of interest you have to pay on a house, you don't actually make a ton of money unless you go through a housing boom and your house like doubles or triples in value. It's not necessarily the area that you're gonna make all of the money you can in life, but it's a great area that forces you to save money because once you buy the house, you're not pulling that money out to go buy sneakers. You're living in it. Second is lots and courses. The pro of these is they're very lucrative. You know, you've seen some YouTubers, if you do a bit of their kind of math ratio, they have a million subscribers. If they sold 3% of their LUTs to their audience, and that's 30,000 people, and then they're selling that LUT by $20, you do the math, it's not bad money. It's $600,000. The con is you need an audience, which means you need to start building your channel, your audience now. I did a YouTube channel for about eight months before I made a single dollar on it. So it takes a lot of time to build up the momentum in the audience before you can actually start selling these products. Next, as I mentioned, was stock footage. This is passive income, this is all the footage here. The pro, you already have the content. The con, it's not a gamble, but there's no guarantee you're gonna make a ton of money off of it because you never know what clients need. It can make you a lot of money, and then some years it makes you no money. Next is affiliate links. The pro of this is, well, somebody already has the product and you don't have to make it, you just gotta sell it. The con is, well, you gotta sell it. You gotta like the product and you gotta constantly talk about it, and this can get exhausting if you're not passionate about it. Lastly is investments, stocks and crypto. I'm not gonna give you any advice on crypto, I don't know much about it, but traditional investments, buying stocks, working with a broker, or working with some sort of investment app, is this is money you have, and if you invested into solid companies, over time, your money will increase in value, or at least it should. 
depending on what you buy. It's kind of like set it and forget it. Get it in a good investment and it should grow. And typically in low risk investments, your money should double every seven to 10 years. So again, it's worthwhile thinking about getting your money, no matter how small, in some investments. So there you go, guys, that is passive income. There's not too much passive about it, except that once you establish and you put all the hard work up front, that's when you can start re reaping the rewards. I hope this video helped. I'll see you guys on the next one. And just, just have like the, the, the literally the best day you've had this entire week. All right, see you in the next one. I don't do flip screens, by the way. Oh yeah. They're bad for the environment. Um, Buy a new camera might be. <laughs> yeah, that would. Oh, it makes me miss my friends. I haven't been out of the house that much recently. Canada loves its lockdowns, but big thanks to Jesse and Mati for letting me stop by. If you want to see me do more videos with all of the YouTuber homies in Ontario, let me know. I think like Chris Howe lives like just down the street from me. I got Daniel Schiffer literally like around the corner. These are guys who were always texting, but I just actually need to get in the flesh in person with them. So go bug those guys on their channels and say, go hang out with Marpone if you want to see more videos like that. But thank you for watching this one. This was so fun getting to watch a video with you. I want to do it more. It's, it's, it's as if you're in the room with me. I gotta stop peeing with the door open. All right, see you in the next one. Counterintuitive. Hey. hey. <laughs> None of this is ever gonna make the video, is it? Or if it does, I'm sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> so I shouldn't put this in the edit? <laughs>